Dude, look at the boil. Oh, it's a huge one. Huge bass, dude. Grab that net. Huge bass. This might be my PB out here. Got him. If there's a big one. Oh, don't come off. Dude, is that a bass? It is a bass. Holy cow. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. We're out on the Ogeechee River today. You guys saw in the last episode, we were out on Lake Lanier. We caught some pretty good spotted bass, had a good time with my family. Today, I'm out with my boy Connor on the Ogeechee. You've probably seen Connor before on the episode, so let me tell you something about Connor. So, he was actually a supporter of the channel years ago. I don't see you as that now. Yeah. He's like a good friend of mine, but- Five years ago. Um, was it that? Was it that long? Five years ago. It was about five years ago. It was like the first supporter I took on the water. And it was Connor. And we were, or he took me on the water, technically. We were fishing out of the little jumbo. Last year, it was actually yesterday, a year ago. Pretty much a year ago from today, we came out on the Ogeechee River and we caught some good fish. I'll roll a few clips from that. There he is. That's a bass. Golly. Too big, whatever he is. He ate off the bottom. It's a bass. I got him. Mm, nice. That's a good one. Jeez, that's a fat one. But today, we're gonna try to catch some big ones. It's a beautiful day outside. It's what, 70 degrees right now? It's yeah. not that hot right now, but it feels not amazing. Yet. It feels good though. It feels so good. But uh, you ready for it, man? Let's get it. Let's get on him. He said he hasn't been fishing in like six months. So, yeah, we're about so to... don't, don't watch me. Watch him. I'm probably going to mess up a lot today. We'll see. We're going to go out there, have a good time. And uh, it's full. The tide is high right now. And uh, we're going to go hit a few spots in the marshlands. We're going to try some spots up there. And then uh, we're probably going to head up river a little bit. So I'm curious to see what the fish are going to do today. We haven't been out here in a while. And it's going to be a good one. So stay tuned. Also, have a giveaway randomly in this video. So stay tuned for that. Let's go catch some fish. All right, we just made it to our first spot. So look at what we're in right now. Look at this, it's beautiful. All back here, this is brackish water. And uh, the, honestly, the tide's looking perfect. If we catch it right here, I, I told Connor we're gonna, we should catch a couple really good fish, but we're gonna try this spot out. We're gonna fish around here for a little bit. I have a couple other spots I wanna hit. And uh, what we're gonna do, start off with some Texas rigs, flip some of these current brakes, see if these bass are set up right. The water temp is 54 degrees right now, it's not 60. I'm hoping these bass are gonna bite good, but like I said, if they don't bite over here, we're gonna head up river. So we're gonna give this a shot for a little bit, cast around, and hopefully we'll catch a really good one. Yeah, so, well, right now, you know, the tide's going out, so all this water is getting flushed out, so pretty much what you want to do is, you know, these fish are moving out, mm -hmm. so you kind of want to follow them. Yeah. So, you know, when this water's pulling out, these fish are pulling out, too. Then when it hits low tide, you remember last time you came out, we were fishing the, the main river on low tide. Yeah. You know, because all that water got flushed out. You know, the fish moved out with it. No. -uh. Oh no, dude! You just started throwing it too. I'm, I'm rusty. Like what we got? Right, <laughs> right on the end of that, wasn't he? Yeah, he's right well, that's a good sign. He hammered it good. Maybe they want to move him, babe. Maybe they just don't want anything on the bottom. You know. I might need to try that fluke. I have it tied on. All right, I'm gonna try it. Give a fluke a shot. Oh 
my god. Dude, look at the boil. Oh, it's a huge one. Huge bass, dude. Grab that net. Huge bass. This might be my PB out here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> Let's go. That is a Yo, monster. That was worth the wait. Oh, that was worth the wait. Oh, oh that was worth the gosh. wait. On the fluke, homie. They want to move and bait. Look yeah. at that. That's a freaking almost four pounder. That's it right there, dude. That's it. <laughs> awesome work. Yo. That's all I want. They want the moving bait. Look at that. Gosh, that's why we came out here crazy barely hooked oh man what a way to start the day on the first fish brother look at that that's one of my biggest out here that's probably my third look how fat he is that's probably my third biggest ogeezy bass guys look at that freaking toad oh my gosh that is a big one we've only caught this one today this is our first fish so i've been throwing this crawl for a while connor switched up to a spinner bait, he was throwing it around, had two bites. I picked up that fluke that I had on, was working it, saw a massive boil behind that fluke, and you know what I did? I just killed it. I didn't touch it, I kind of waited, I felt him eat it, and I just jacked him right there. If I would have kept twitching it, he wouldn't have ate this bait, but I just killed it, and that is a four pound giant on the Ogeechee. This is a freaking hoss for this river, and we're gonna try to catch some more. <laughs> He's a bad guy too, man. That is insane. We're actually going to put him in the live well. Me and Connor got to get a picture today. We haven't fished in a while. We got one last year. and That's a good one for a picture, brother. That's a, that's a killer fish. So we're going to throw her in the live well. Put her on this side, but look at that bass. That's a big Ogeechee River bass. Anybody who watches the Ogeechee videos, you guys know that the you know, majority of the fish out here are about a pound. So if you catch one like that, dang good fish. So. Jesus, dude. That's a <laughs> dog. Get out of here. <laughs> That was big, dude. When he boiled, I thought he was almost bigger. I thought it was like a five pounder. I mean, a four pounder though, heck. Holy cow. I haven't caught one that big out of here in a long time, man. Oh, first fish? Okay. One way to start off the day with one like that. Well, we fished over there in the brackish water. We came up river, first spot. Digging. Dude, that boil about made my heart hurt. I knew he was big, dude. I was like, that was just... Your reaction was like, oh. <laughs> dude, you saw the boil. I mean, you listen, grabbed the camera right when you, <laughs> when, you, when you saw the boil, dude. You know what I did? What you know, when I go back and watch this clip, I mean, everybody just saw it, but I literally killed it. Like, when he, when I saw him boil, I stopped twitching it, yeah, and just let it let the current take it. And I lifted up, I felt the pressure. Yes. If that was me, I probably would have freaked out and started twitching. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a freaking hoss. That's why you guys have to have patience right there. You know, sometimes we get get a little impatient and you know, we stuck to it. This is, uh, I gotta lift the power poles. It is one o'clock right now. We've been out here since 1030. So two and a half hours, two and a half hours and finally got our first fish and it was worth it. <laughs> if we get if we get one bite every two and a half hours and they're that, they're size, that size, I ain't gonna really complain, dude. Just, just, <laughs> just give it to me right there. Oh, dude. On the, I just picked up the fluke like three oh, minutes. No, I mean, I threw about five, six. I probably That's probably my 10th cast, realistically. But I was only throwing it for a few minutes, bro, and I was just twitching it, and that boil was just outrageous. I wanted him to think that he hurt it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like he hit the bait fish, and he killed it, and it was just floating down. If there's a big one. Oh, don't come off. Dude, he was in the ditch. Nah, I'm good. He, dude, I cast his Wait. Oh, he's a decent one too. Dude, that might be a good pattern, brother. That's a good one. That's a freaking good one. Okay. Look at the colors on him, bro. All right, there we go guys second fish of the day we just came out here on the main river we found this little tiny creek that's coming in it's got natural water flowing in here it's got all this current coming out of this little tiny 
pocket. We call those little ditches out here on the river. And this winter time can be really good in the ditches. Do that crawl up there all the way back there and got a solid chunk right there. Look how fat he is. He's got a beautiful lateral line on him. These fish on the Ogeechee River just have the prettiest markings in the world. We're actually gonna put him in the live well. The second one today, we're getting somewhere. One on a fluke, one on a crawl. Now it's Connor's turn to pull a six pounder up with that spinnerbait. Some old mammoth in there, dude. I'm gonna put her over here. <laughs> Big girl might scare. But let's get back in there. If we can find ditches like that where you have that natural water coming out, it kind of cradles down like that. We're gonna throw back in there because what you gotta learn about these places is with this current, there's a lot of fish up in there. Not only that, but we can come back to the spot in five minutes and there might be another fish replenished on this spot. So we might need to duplicate that. That's something we need to pay attention to. I'm gonna throw one with this. Was that the one? That's not the one, is it? Or yeah. Uh-oh. Now I'm stuck. Nice. She's gonna have to break. Nice. All right, Connor, I'm tagging you in. Come on up here. All right, brother. By the time I retie, I expect you to have a Noah, I need the net type deal. So since we're sitting down, I'm gonna talk about the rig that I'm throwing and we're gonna rig a brand new one up. I actually broke off back there. I tried to throw another cast and knotted up my line, taking a good bit of fluoro off. This is 17 pound fluorocarbon, by the way, when I'm flipping stuff like this, I like to have some good hefty line. I actually don't have the weight that I need, sadly. But what we're gonna do, uh, this is like an eighth ounce. I don't really want that, but heck, if we gotta use that for right now, that's fine. So we got a little eighth ounce bullet weight. Usually I use a quarter, which is a fourth. Got a three aught extra wide gap hook. And the knot that I'm using is a uni knot. If you guys wanna figure out how to tie it, you can go on Google and or not on Google, you can, or you can go, probably go on Google too, but you can go on YouTube and type in a kicking their bass best fishing knot and the video will pop up and I'll show you exactly how to tie it. But very strong knots, even stronger than the polymer, which 99% of bass anglers tie. So I have this like little reaction bag that I just have some random plastics and I had like a rage crawl in there that's black and red. It's like, you know what, I'm gonna try that out and that seemed to do the trick, so. And that's the simple little rig that we have. Just a basic Texas rig, smaller weight than I had on before, but that'd be okay. I don't know if it's gonna be a key key player today, but it's definitely gonna get us some bites in certain situations. You know, with me fishing this current, I wanted to be able to get in those current breaks and dangle something in front of their face. And that's exactly what we did right there. So I think you caught what, like probably seven? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Oh, it's a mud fish, it's a mud fish. Oh, it's a dinosaur. Well, we hooked to something that we didn't really want to hook, but guess what? On a day like today, you can't really complain. Anything, anything that bites is fun. Oh, he's got me all tangled up now. I'm probably gonna have to reach out. Oh, he's an ugly boy. Oh, he's got my line in his teeth. Calm down, Becky. Dude, you see the color of that fish too? They're usually not. All right, where are these pliers? Dude, I thought I had a big one. Oh my God, dude, that thing's actually really big. Woo, no. <laughs> Somehow, or actually, a little bit. I haven't been out with the pliers. That's a nasty boy. I thought I was about to say five pounder. Yeah, we need to do some merch shout outs, guys. I've had a bunch of you guys order while I was out in the water today. Let's, let's give you guys some shout outs. All right, here we go. Big shout out to Amanda, Morgan, Patrick, Joshua, Amy. Thank you so much for purchasing some merch on the website. If you guys would like to check it out, go over to kickingtheirbass.com and you can copy yourself some merch and send me your photos and I will be more than happy to put them up on my Kicking Their Bass Instagram page. But let's go ahead and keep on fishing. That's three fish today. One fish that we don't really want, but we're getting closer to catching more and more fish. So I'm happy about that. Could be a lot worse. Yeah. Oh. oh God, some mud fish, some mud fish. <laughs> Dude, that thing felt huge. Dude, they're huge right now. Every time you 
Dude, look how big they are. Yeah. I'm gonna have to cut it. Yeah, I hate to do it, but I'm gonna have to. <gasps> that was another freaking four pounder, brother. I saw his head. I literally watched him come up and do this. That was another four pounder in the same dang spot. He might bite it again. I skipped it up there, dude. He came up. I just watched his head come out of the water and eat it. <gasps> oh! Watch, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Please eat it, dude. That was a... Connor, that fish was so big, dude. I have never seen anything like that in my life. I pulled it away from him out of the tree. Oh my god. Why are there so many giants right here? Please. There's a lot of fish right here. Dude, that was crazy right there, brother. Got him. Need net? Nah. It's a good one though. It's not, it's not what was biting me earlier, but they're stacked right there. Look at that. It's another good one. It's a good fish though. Bro, they all got nice little guts on them. Yeah, they do. Healthy. This time of year, they're so fat. That's awesome right there, guys. We had some crazy fish just come up and try to eat me multiple times on this fluke. This spot right here, there's something with it. I'm gonna keep casting. There's multiple fish. I've, I had a crazy bite on the bank right there. I saw like a four pounder try to eat it. Had just a massive one. Try to eat it while I was dangling. Then I just had this guy eat it. It's always the small ones I get it, man. But look at that, pretty fish. Bro, this might be one of those spots where it, they just keep, they're coming out of here and they just keep riding this edge and it might replenish. It's crazy because it's five foot from the, from the boat. Let me show you what I'm doing here. We got all this water coming out. It's gotten very shallow. My boat's actually like beached right now. I'm hoping we're not going to get stuck, but I'm just sitting right here throwing this fluke right here and there's a lot of fish hanging right there on that stuff. Like I've had a lot of bites. I think I had three or four bites in the same exact spot. So I'm going to keep making casts. I caught that four pounder earlier right there. Like big fish in there. Someone just touched me with their nose and boiled. I don't know if I sink. Dude, is that a bass? It is a bass. Holy cow. Oh my god, dude. There's no way. There's no way this is happening right now. <clears throat> Another freaking monster. <laughs> what oh is going on? Oh my gosh. I just, the color on that one too. Dude, he, he, the saint, look at that. <laughs> what is going on, brother? I'm sorry, Connor. I feel so bad. Oh, I'm dude, trying to. I'm just, hey, I'm just out here to break the rust off. <laughs> dude, we're gonna have a good day, bro. We still got a few hours. We, we got a little bit of time, bro. That's a three pounder. I'm close to it with his fat tummy. Yeah. High two, maybe? I said, I think I saw something hit and it with it, his yeah. nose. <laughs> and I stopped it like I did the four pounder and I just lifted up and it felt like weight. Dude, there's big ones in here, dude. Oh, he bite? yeah, you want to throw it in there? He might bite it. Where was it? It's right there. You just throw parallel with this bank right on the left hand side. He had it. Oh, I saw that. He's got it. And you got him this time, buddy. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> dude it counts it touched the boat it touched the boat, touched the boat. It, you got him ah. you got him though dude i saw your line hop and you, you <laughs> jacked his butt oh i got too excited right there that counts though i mean you okay. you you had him all right guys me and connor just took some pictures this is the beast today the biggest one i actually just released a three pounder but that's that four pounder just about 
It's a freaking beast. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this one. If you guys want to see Connor back on the channel, let me know down below. I told him, I said, we're going out this week. I was blessed to catch the fish that we did, but it was tough. We're going to come out this next time and destroy them. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. <laughs>